So good morning each of you and it's really a great privilege to be with such accomplished people on the dais and of course each one of you who are leaders in your space. Thank you NGO Box for giving me the invitation. It's absolutely an honor and delight to be with each of you and while we, I do present the keynote among the keynote speakers, I would also look forward to interactions with each one of you to learn and share. We say in Cisco that while networking is in our blood, CSR is in our DNA. So that's how our social responsibility is integrated to our business and to our system. So I think Akash already did a great job of uh, compiling with all the speakers and then finally building up as to how a corporate has been doing. So that's how I will try to show in my presentation as the different strategies that we have adopted and as how you can inculcate in each of your areas. So that finally I'm able to help in some ways as what you all would like to achieve from this workshop. So our mission, let's talk about you know, our mission. So each time in a corporate, you know, or even for that matter in an organization, first and foremost, what we need to have in place is in our mission. So for Cisco, what we have decided is that we would like to benefit the local communities where we operate. So each of our resources, yeah, just if you can. So at the end, folks, we all know that our resources are limited. And how do we maximize it? So in terms of our mission, we are very clear that we would like to focus in areas where we are located and where we have a good mass of our employees so that the ecosystem around us develop. So in terms of our visibility, we are also able to get good visibility with the local government, with the local stakeholders, and also this helps us in good amount of employee engagement. So this is our important mission that we would like to strengthen Cisco's brand and reputation in local communities where Cisco has significant employee presence. Now community relation, I completely uh, agree with one of, uh, you know, one of the friend in the delegate who mentioned that we have to move from this uh, concept of grant to investment. And that's how we perceive it because CSR at the end, it's no more longer a philanthropy, it's a very strategic approach for the companies. So how does it help us? A, we want to position Cisco as a leader in the local community. We want to be a trusted community transformation advisor. Very important, we want to leverage our core expertise. Now, how do we be different from the rest of the companies, the, less, uh, the rest of the corporates who are doing the same uh, work? And this is the only way that we can be by adding value on the table, and that is by capitalizing, by leveraging on our core expertise. So therefore, we try to link our projects to the technology that we are expertise in. Generating lasting impact for Cisco. Now this is very important, you know, we don't want to do anything on a one time. It's important sometimes, you know, basic human needs addressing is important. But at most of the times from a strategic point of view, we try to ensure as, as much as possible our projects have a lasting impact. Focus on employee engagement. Now while capital is very important and to an extent we'll all agree that that's not, the, that's not the solution to all the problems. What's equally important is the employee engagement which basically means the, the talent and the time of our employees. And that is very critical for all the NGO partners that we have partnered so far. So any of our CSR activities, we ensure that there is also an employee engagement component align with business priorities and Cisco's policies. Again, very important because at the end, the company is to make profit and to exist. So it's important that while we are doing a good work, it's, we are linked to our business as well. Now, this is STEM. This is a very you know, uh, common acronym that you will hear more and more often, especially in the IT industry. It's science, technology, engineering, math. Now this is the focus that a lot of corporates, especially in the IT sector is doing. 
so i wanted to share with in this forum that lot of of you you know for, from the ngo ngo groups can look for projects especially in this sector because this is where the company the country is taking a leaf frog it's all going towards technology and it's important that we also ramp up to that speed creating positive image with the local government very important you know we, we, they are our partners with us and it's important that we are always on the good books and the good side with with the local government now leading trends in csr i wanted to share this uh, this uh, slide with you so that just to show the transition as how it's happening a is traditional you know traditional csr it's all philanthropy where we completely remove it from business now that's again important you know it we can't do away with it because at the end it's like you know until unless we address the basic issues we can't talk about building on it so it's traditional csr and the key drivers are basically building good goodwill in the uh, uh, around and being a good corporate citizen slightly moving from the fair uh, traditional approach is the aligned is the corporate engagement focused on themes issues related Uh, to the company but finally the objectives are not tied to the company uh, strategy so even at cisco we see that lot of our projects that we are doing or rather i will say most of it are in this bucket that while it is aligned to our technology uh, aligned to our core expertise but at the end there is no much business value to it but slowly where we would like to move towards and that's where the uh, you know most of the companies are going towards is shared value and shared value makes the maximum sense because it's the only way that it has a win win situation it's again leveraging on what the company is good at and and doing good to the society so that finally they are able to be, uh, get the best that they can offer and it benefits the organization and benefits in the company so the shared value is the win win and more sustainable and the scalable model the difference about the shared value csr since this was a topic of uh, you know my focus in the in the keynote i wanted to give more emphasis on this uh, this particular slide is traditional and aligned csr so what is basically it comprises of its value it's it's all doing good you know it's 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 philanthropy finally uh, impacting lives is selfless finally it's it's not expecting any returns is discretionary agendas areas externally determined separate from profit maximization this is all goodwill and this is where it falls under shared value where where mostly the the the, the strategy is moving towards it's the value is economic and social benefits which is relative to the cost it's a joint value creation very 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 important mutually beneficial to both society and to company as just as i as i said is the only way by which it can be sustainable and the scale and the scalable model it has to align with the company's priorities only then there will be traction only then will it go a long way and ultimately there should be the business growth opportunities so i've just given some examples as to how in our company also we were doing projects which is more in the first two buckets as i mentioned most of them are still in the line space but slowly we are moving with with the shared value now in terms of impact through the social investment how does the impact happen we talk about money very important you know but what else it's talent talent is equally important because finally it's it's the employees they when they work as mentors and coaches we really see an impact in the lives of the beneficiaries and third important is the technology because that's what you know the it companies we are good at so in terms of a social investment we do a layered level of approach which is basically talent technology and capital and as much as possible we try to ensure that all these three merges into an <coughs> ideal project that we would like to see now the drivers of the strategic planning what all does it consist of a the global <coughs> trends we need to ensure that it's it's it has the global trends in country social needs we have to align with national agenda the stakeholders feedback very critical we need to do then the internal assessment as how it's going 
then it should be a one social investment strategy. We also we have observed that many times, a lot of corporates, they have the different departments in the space, in different verticals, but all in the same space doing different things. So it's important that as much as possible, there should be one investment strategy. And of course, we would like to do our way, which basically means we need to ha have the benchmark as to what we want to achieve. And then we should also ensure that it synchronizes with other departments, which is mostly like, you know, the marketing and communication, the government relations, the human resources. So as much as possible, it should also align with other, other these departments and only there one can see good traction. So the features of the new CSR strategy that if you would like to ensure in your company how it should be, it should align with the core business objective. It should be towards a nation building. We should always align to it. I completely agree with the other, other speakers who mentioned about the job creation. Extremely important. Again, with the focus on STEM that, that I just spoke about, science, technology, engineering, maths. And it should have ample volunteering opportunities. Any model is a failure if it is not scalable and sustainable. Goodwill with the government at the central and the local uh, level, very important that we synchronize with the government both at the local and the central level. It has good, it should have good uh, PR opportunities because ultimately one shouldn't shy away with sharing all the good work that's happening and complementary to the other existing social investment. As I just mentioned that within the company also several times there are companies doing different things and basically one arm doesn't know what the other is doing. A quick snapshot of all the uh, act, uh, you know different projects that we are doing. I know we are over short of time and I don't want to be between yours and the coffee break because I can see a lot of you know you struggling with yawns and absolutely fair enough the human mind has limitation that it can process. So uh, just trying to you know uh, r rush through it. Both and the uh, and the uh, leadership placement. The other important thing that we see is that while employee engagement is very important, we should also also ensure that our senior executives are on the board of the of the organizations. Now this is something that we have observed that our key partners they benefit a lot because the level of expertise and the know-how and the network that a board member can bring in, that's the, the that's the executives that goes a long way with the NGO partners. So at Cisco, we highly encourage our executives, uh, our senior management, to be on the board of the organization that we partner very closely. This is just a quick snapshot of all the projects that we are doing in India. We have a very important project which is called as the Cisco Network Academy. Now this project is in the shared value space where we give our technology to, uh, to, to the uh, uh, different uh, educational institutes at a subsidized rate and we help them to grow. So this project is totally in the shared value space. We have internet of everything which is again impacting, uh, uh, impacting children, uh, students and it's a space of education, volunteer X, volunteer X which basically means volunteer multiplication. We have, uh, we have hundreds and thousands of volunteers and what we do at Cisco is that any organization that's impaneled with us, each time when an employee volunteer to that, that organization, the NGO gains by $10. So basically we try to uh, encourage vol volunteerism which means that when an organization is gaining by our time and expertise, they are also gaining by money. So this is a way by which we try to uh, encourage volunteerism at, at our company. Digital literacy program, for this program, I didn't get the opportunity to interact with Atul as he had to leave early. We are partnering very closely with NSDC on the public-private partnership and with, with the NGOs who are impaneled, impaneled with NSTC and we are creating job opportunities. So this is primarily from a fund, from the foundation that we receive and, uh, and uh, we, we have partnered with five to six organizations. <coughs> Mostly they are affiliated to NSTC and we are creating a lot of job opportunities. We also have a focus on the disabled sector. The e-Gurukul program, this is basically a cloud-based, uh, it's a content, uh, content on over our website and it's a free source. Anytime any of the, uh, the organizations who would like to benefit from this, uh, from this program, they're most welcome to go visit and download it. And th then this is our flagship project which is called as the Global Hunger Relief Campaign that Cisco does every year 
for addressing the issues of hunger because while we talk our strategic approach while we talk about shared value we feel that until and unless the stomach is full we, you can't talk about education or development so this is in fact a flagship project when the only time besides disaster when we go out to the employees and ask for their money and the money donated by the, by the individuals by our employees is matched twice by the company so our, our partner for this is Akshay Patra. It costs $12 to feed one child for a year, but each time when an employee donates $12, it doesn't mean 12, it becomes 36 because the company matches twice. So what I'm trying to also say is that we give equal importance to the basic human needs because we feel without that one can't be successful. So I just leave it over here and uh, all the very best with each of you. I hope you all, you all achieve the objectives that has brought you here. It's precious two days, so make the most out of it. And thank you, organizers, for putting this together. And thanks, uh, everyone, for listening with care, uh, patiently.